Hey guys, JuicyTaz201 here, bringing you another Minecraft video. Welcome back to Roosevelt City. Thank you for watching this video, and let's get right into it. We are here, right next to the Freedom Tower, and I'm so excited to show this building to you guys. It's the, the old original MetLife building in New York City, and in my city, I made it something else, completely different. But this plot of land has been empty for like five plus years. Um, there was a building before it. But uh, I think that was a while ago since I tore that down. It used to be like a big old apartment building. But uh, I had to build something here when they extended the height limit. I just never got to it. So I thought last week, why not build a building here that was older like? Because I have like a lot of ice buildings and um, modern kind of stuff over here. So I was like, let's break it up and put an old building on here. Hey, and stay towards the end of the video too. Um, I'm just trying to remind myself. Um that there are shout outs at the end so don't skip to the end you know keep watching there's so much more cool um things to see there's so many you know new things i did and it's just a beautiful building on the outside and i want you guys to stay here and look at it with me and this is my check through i haven't really looked at it since i built it i know a few of you have been in my world since and um you know i've seen it with me and it is pretty tall i tried to make it not too tall but you know tall enough so, I'll let you know when we get down closer to the bottom. But, I'm showing you all the detail. It took only a week to build this, and then the interior, like, little things. You know, it's not a full interior, so, um, it didn't take as long. But, I called it j &R Records. It's a record company, and you can actually record studio albums here and such. It is a really cool building on the inside. It has, you know, different things you could do with it. And I wanted to make something different. I just want to make like, you know, office building. I was tired of making just office buildings, so I decided to do something different. These are just the bathrooms. Nothing special. Bathroom stalls and, you know. And we are going to go past the security after this. The lobby is pretty big, I will say. And before we do that, let's go outside. I built an outdoor park area because it's nice to have some green in a city. You know, you see all this concrete and like these buildings. It kind of gets a little boring. So I made it right next to the parking lot right here. And it's a nice place to have lunch too. You know, that's where I'd be outside eating lunch. Maybe I should make a park, be park bench out there. And guys, let me know in the comment section if you like old skyscrapers or new skyscrapers more. I'm very interested in knowing that because I like old stuff. I like Art Deco and stuff. So please let me know below. And I want to see what the um, future minds of the world like. I don't know. Or anybody who's around my age. I don't know. I like old architecture though. You know, there's all that detail. j &R. Now, anybody who says, hmm, j &R sounds familiar... In GTA 4, Grand Theft Auto 4, there was a radio station called JNR. It was like a jazz radio. This com this means completely something else, so don't think that is connected. This is just a studio company, and I'll show you the first. Well, this is the second floor, but this is where the main studio is. This studio will look very familiar for anybody who knows um, anybody in the music business or isn't like who is in the music business. This place is based off of the Capitol Records main recording studio. Um, studio A and B. But you see, these right here are just quotes from big, you know, singers like Frank Sinatra, John Lennon, David Bowie, Freddie Mercury, and such. Right here is just the recording button. I add some you know, little extra detail. So if that button is on, if that if up there is off, then you're all right. But if it's on, then do not enter in there. And over here is just the main recording area and the drums. I don't think I'm playing drums today, but there's the microphone, if you're wondering how you get the sound into the studio. And this is the main hall. This is based on the Capitol Records one. And what this is really meant for are big bands, and big bands, uh, I said big bands twice, but I mean separately, big bands like the orchestra, and then big bands like, you know, a con like a, I don't know, like a group like Kiss, or any group really that's big. And this is the piano, let me play. Oh yeah. And if you think that's real, then uh, I can't help you. I can't help you. <laughs> right, that was all edited, guys. This is Studio B, and this side is Studio A, if I did not make that clear. Um, I made it orange, just like the real uh, studio. And the layout is completely off, but the inside of the studio area is pretty... Um, I would say it resembles it a lot. I like this one area more than the other side. Hope you guys like it too so far. Comment below. Also, what's your favorite song? 
I just like to know, I like to know certain things what you guys like, what you don't like. And that is just the secretary area. And I'm right next to my alarm clock, and so it's like flashing me in the eye, the laser. So if you see my eye, like, get yeah, like a little red thing in it, it's from my clock, so sorry. Up here are just offices, nothing special. But I did a little bit of interior. So I didn't want to do it all the way up, because who's really going to look at it all the way up? I better not get any comments to say, oh, I'm going to look at it. <laughs> I'm going to go all the way up there. This is like a big office for anybody who's in charge. And it has a nice view of the studio below. I like that detail, you know? So what's next? I think the next floor ne uh, that, we, that we're going to be going to is the... Um, I think it's Studio A, B, C, C, D, E. Yeah, after this. And I made like six floors furnished, so let's go up there. Could be offices, though. I forget. Yep, this is the studios right up here. And I did a really cool design with the banners and the, the desk. Feel free to use that, guys. Get inspiration from my, from my world. You can use whatever you see. And if it's a building, give me credit. <laughs> There's a J&R logo. Thought it'd be cool to put it there. And this is Studio C. This is a medium-sized recording studio. And I did not mean to fly there. Sorry. But uh, this is a medium-sized recording studio. And I think I want to sing in there. I think I can belt it out today. Should I try it, guys? Should I try singing on this microphone? It looks like a redstone lamp. It's not redstone lamp. Ready? No, I'm not doing it. It's as high as I'm going to go. <laughs> and this is just where those guys control the sounds and everything. And let's get out of here. And these are the smaller studios over here. Studio D, I don't know, C and D. It's kind of funny, Studio CD, because, you know, they kind of make CDs here, so. I didn't really think about that. Or was it DE? I think it was DE, though. Well, anyways, you have those other studios that are next to each other, CD. And it's the same, pretty much. Nothing special. And the switch right there. This building is, like, one of my favorites now. If anybody's wondering, like, uh, I always get that question, what's your favorite building in Roosevelt City? Of course it's the Freedom Tower, one World Trade Center. And I think my second favorite might be this skyscraper now. I'm not really sure. I really built it. If you guys want to know the, the real reason, it's because for Christmas time, I'm already thinking about Christmas because I love Christmas so much. It, it's such an easy building to decorate on the outside and to incorporate in my video. So um, I'm already thinking about the Christmas special. I really shouldn't be. We're in summer. It's so wrong. <laughs> But uh, I'm always thinking about the holidays. I love the holidays. And this year is going to be the fourth Christmas special, even though I still shouldn't be speaking about Christmas. I'm sorry if I'm spoiling any of you summer lovers. There'll be snow before you know it in certain areas. <laughs> and if you live in Canada, there's always snow. I would, uh, most of it, I can say. And here is the... Um, just a banquet hall or wherever they have like a big event. If there's like a big CD dropping, you know, they can have like speech here or some of that. And I really had extra room, so you know, I was like, why not? I like to use up room and make it look good if I'm gonna do it. And we were in the kitchen already, so let's get to the next floor. And yeah, this is just offices up here. It's nothing is behind here. This connects to the main secretary desk, so she would have to walk through there, she or he. And get around to there. And there is a break room or restroom. This is the restroom. The break room is on the other side. And let me show you this. Right there is for privacy, if you're wondering. And over here is this nice big office. You like what I did with the dragon head there? I thought of that idea. Um, I think probably if other people have done it, that's the first time. I thought about that. I didn't see anybody who had that already in their world, but there are probably people who already have done that. This is a break room, though. has a nice view, too. I didn't really think about that. And this is the random conference room. Now, above this, there's no other offices. So we are going to probably take the ladder up. Yep, there's nothing up here, but it's pretty spacious, I would say. And we're going to stop at a few floors that I like, or... Well, we have no choice because you gotta you gotta get out of a few floors to get to the next floor. It's a very oddly um, set up building that I've made. 
And the next one, over right here, yeah. This is the smaller floor. This is the floor before you hit the roof. And we'll go outside to look at it. You can see how high we are already. If you look down, you can see the Trump Tower. You can see my old first tower there. You can see the the other tower. It looks like the two, the original four World Trade Center design, I think. Everybody always tells me that. The SP Finisher building. The private military building. It's so pretty at night, though. I love my city so much. And I thank you all for loving it as much as I do. <laughs> and I, I swear, if I didn't have uh, you guys out there watching this video or watching all my videos, I wouldn't be building today. It's been it's been almost six years now, and I continue to build. And I'm going to build until I just don't have time anymore. So, don't even think about that. I'll, I've been, I think I've been doing videos for like three years now. And I just love doing it. But I want to thank my friend, Reborn Drake. 867 for helping me with this building he laid down floors when i was gone so it was so nice of him it was they're such a pain in the butt i really will say that laying down you know constant floors so i'm very happy he did that so thank you michael he's a good channel too he does a lot of call of duty stuff and pranking stuff and that's the top of it gold i had to do gold why not <laughs> and a little bit more of the exterior and now to the moment you, a lot of you have been waiting for are the shout-outs coming up in a few seconds. Um, here you go, Mr. The Goat, The Goat. And there's a few people who wanted to be shouted out, but they uh, weren't last time. So I may show a few from the last video twice. And a lot of them are funny. I put a lot of them in this video, so thank you guys for all the support you show me on all my videos and all the comments. I'll be showing more comments in the future, and, you know, if you comment a lot, you will probably be showing on my videos. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. It's been JuicyTaz201. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.